just want that limitless torque very little speed don't want to damage the car at all we're playing it safe with this one a few moments later I'm just flooring it. I don't give a shit about anything. Just flooring it. Welcome guys to another BeamNG episode and welcome to the Extra Mile. My name is Alex and boy. Today I have a really, really special episode because I've been waiting for this moment for so long. Um, quick recap, I thought the 0.26 update, which I'm running here right now, uh, would initially have the first build of the career mode, but I was a little bit disappointed when I read the patch notes and didn't see anything about it. But today on Reddit, I saw that it is actually in the game, but it is hidden apparently. So what you have to do is click six times on career mode and then you get access? That's what I've been told. I don't know if that's a joke or something, but here we go, I guess. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Man, this is some bullshit! Oh god, there it is! There it is! There it is! Career mode is experimental. Safe progress will be lost with future updates. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes! I've got my hard hat ready. Oh my god! Oh my god! Here it is. I'm so excited. I have no idea what to expect. So this is very early. Um, obviously, it says work in progress in red uh, at the top there. So I, I'm not expecting too much in terms of fleshed out UI or anything like that. But yeah, I'm really excited now. Holy shit! Alright, welcome to a very early sneak peek of BeamNG's career mode. I'm here for that. Please note that this is a highly volatile early version of career mode. Uh, we can see things loading in in the background there. Um, all safe progress will be lost in the coming updates. That makes sense. I don't care. This is only a sneak peek into the gameplay and its accompanying framework. Gameplay rewards are arbitrary and serve only as a placeholder value. All right. As you make your way through the included gameplay, various types of rewards are collected. A money, currently work in progress, branch XP, accumulated and used to progress the player through branch specific tiers. Makes sense, hauling, racing, drifting, whatever. Uh, branch XP serves to allow the player to keep track of their performance and preferred playstyle. Beam XP, an overall gameplay tracking and reward servicing system. So that would be like your overall level in GTA, I assume. Regardless of your preferred playstyle, career mode rewards your playtime. That's cool. Uh, Beam XP accumulates as you progress through the game's countless challenges. Oh, already. Look at the modification here. I just noticed that. The same car in so many different styles. Oh, career branch overview. All right. Motorsports. Explore your competitive driving side. Test your skills through various timed challenges. Makes sense. Laborer. That's the hauling. Not everything is about speed. Delivering different types of cargo. I love that. Specialized. Untrained professionals need not apply. Step into the big leagues and chase down suspects. That's uh, awesome. Adventurer. Seeking a little more adventure. Stunt jumps or other highly reckless activities. Got it. First steps. Uh, unlock new content. Use the map to select and inspect missions. You must achieve or at least one star in a mission for it to be considered a pass. Uh, passing a mission will unlock the ability to customize its settings. Got it. Uh, customization may include the ability to play the mission with your own vehicle to set uh, oh, your own vehicle, so we can buy vehicles, to set a custom number of laps, to change traffic settings and more. Uh, to achieve all of the bonus challenges that a mission offers, it may be required to customize its settings. Got it? Discover and play missions. Check out the map to see all of the available missions and set a route to your desired destination. Or just explore and discover missions as you come across them. Have fun out there. Will do! All right, I, I assume we're being given a car at first. We don't have to buy it. 
Okay. Um, open garage. Let's see what we have here. Customize your vehicle. Oh my God, I love it. Using the garage, you can upgrade and personalize your vehicle. It's free to do so at this stage of development. Got it. So take advantage and create your dream collection of custom vehicles. Don't forget to save your vehicle once you've finished. Oh, it looks so good. It does look better than it did before, I think. The picture seems clear somehow. I don't know. It looks really good. Oh, we can click on that. Put release. Oh, that's cool. That's so cool. Oh, where's the engine? Oh, there it is. Lovely little four-cylinder naturally aspirated engine. I'm guessing about 130 horses or something like that. <laughs> I'm loving it. All right. Um, vehicles. What do I have? Oh, wait a second. I have access to all the vehicles? Load car? Okay. But since the COVID is, uh, has undergone a huge upgrade with this patch, a complete rework, different uh, chassis like this one, where we have a mid-engined, I guess a six-cylinder probably in the back there. 180 horses. I love it. Rear wheel drive. Um, let's start with that one, actually. If I can load that car, can I do that? Okay. I can just... Oh, look at that. Look at how cool that looks. Let's check out the engine. Oh, this is so cool. So, oh. <laughs> Obviously, there's no engine there. The engine is back here. Let's see if we can take a look at it. Uh, we cannot, I guess. Um, paint. I actually do like the paint job a lot. I don't even know what that is. Is it blue? Is it green? I don't care. Uh, parts. All right. That is the same menu that we had before. I guess I want to drive the car in stock form. Oh, that's the four-cylinder engine still. Uh, but it has a turbo. 180 horses. Um, let's just... Let's just take the car as it is right now save current exit all right here we go guys so uh we are on the map um my first question is where is the actual map oh that's nice so m is the map it's relatively small although Actually, it's not that small. All right, let's see. What is what here? Service station. Do we have to refuel is my question. I guess we will find out. Uh, basic race. Let's go. Let's go for that. I can set a route right here. Oh, this is beautiful. All right. Um, pressing M again to close it. I love that animation. Really cool. So, wait, how do I see... Where's my navigation? Oh, oh there it is. All right, got it. <laughs> I'm loving it. Uh, I'm wondering... Will there be... Oh, oh, nice. Will there be AI, AI traffic? The answer is yes, as we just saw. Quite a tail-happy little beast here. All right, let's see what this baby can do. Oh, I'm loving this. That is exactly what I wanted. Ha oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I have an open world free roam map. Missions to do, money to earn. Although I guess money doesn't really play a role just yet since all the upgrades are free. <laughs> oh, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. And the map is actually pretty big. All right, here we go. So what do I have to do? Escape to view the details. Um, all right. Use proposed vehicle. Yes. Race account two. Traffic level off. Unlock settings by achieving at least one star. All right, let's 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 do it. Let's start the mission. Oh, 
Come on! Alright, let's see how hard this will be. Um, it specifically said average... Oh, average drivers in the description. Oh, dude, come on. So, I'm assuming that this is relatively easy to beat them. We will see. We will find out. Why are you braking so early, dude? Oh, no ABS in this car? Alright, we are in front. Oh, shit. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, these are really very average drivers. Alright. Your result first. Well done. Gold medal. Unlocked missions. Nice, nice, nice. We got some... XP as well, and here we are. All right, so far so good. Let's uh, go through all the four mission types, I would say, for today. So we did motorsport. Uh, let's go to laborer, moving assistance. Yeah, sure. Let's do that one. All right. Pressing M, nice animation. Whoosh. <laughs> All right, here we are at the next mission. Escape to view the details. Oh, with a pigeon. Four-wheel pigeon, though. Uh, help a neighbor moving some boxes. That sounds easy enough. All right, let's... Uh, let's drive in chase view for this one. <laughs> I, oh, I see what the challenge is. So if you take corners too fast, I guess you will lose some boxes, maybe. So let's be careful to not do that. Okay, but this doesn't seem too hard. I mean, I guess it's an entry-level mission, so that makes sense. I'm looking uh, forward to some off-road deliveries like oh okay easy almost lost the box and i think it's right here to our right yeah there it is all right uh so i guess that's it i got three stars because i probably was too slow but that was pretty simple. Um, let's see what else we have. We did the racing. We have labor. We see that we have more deliveries now. We didn't have that one. That's new. That's new. Uh, specialized. Unpaid fines. Let's go for it. I'm here for it. I love it. So, stop the driver who's unwilling to pay fines. Oh, we will. We will. You've tracked down a driver that is wanted for a bunch of unpaid fines. Arrest them by forcing their vehicle to stop. Then keep them stuck until their time runs out. I will do so. I love it. I'm here for that. Come on. Come on, automatic gearbox. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Oh, this is good fun. This is exactly what I was hoping that the career mode would be. Let's try good old... Uh, spinning around maneuver thingy. Yeah, I think, I think you're done. I think you're done. That was quick. Uh, why do I only... What the hell is that? Why do we get these two and these two? I thought that was pretty good. Oh, win faster than 30 seconds. I got it. Okay, okay, so I just missed that for five stars, but I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Um, all right, fourth category, and I think I want to do one more, maybe. Adventurer, flock of pigeons, sounds interesting. Knock away, dockyard parking. I'm pretty good at parking. Uh, precision parking. Cannon? I mean, cannon sounds interesting as well. Knock away mud barrel tracks. Let's go for the mud barrel tracks. I don't know. I don't really have a preference here. 
<laughs> this is one of those cars that you have to get to know a little bit before you can really have fun with it because it's very specific in the way it wants to be driven at the limit if you were to go near the limit um really liking this so far knock over as many barrels as you can before the time runs out all uh, right that sounds easy enough doesn't it knock over all the barrels be careful though they are filled with oil so they are rather heavy okay try not to drive into them head on but rather tip them over with the side of your car knock away as many targets as you can within 50 seconds okay if you finish before the time runs out you get one point per remaining second up to 10 points targets can either be pushed away from their position or tipped over to count um okay so we have a figure eight track i guess wait i'm starting there uh, i will do that and that okay 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 i'm here for this let's do it come on Okay, how to do this, how to do this. Just gently kind of nudge them over. 50 seconds is not a long time. I gotta say that. Oh shit, I'm heading them head on. No finesse whatsoever. But yeah, let's just take what we can here. Um, oh shit, I need a handbrake for this. My handbrake currently doesn't work. I will not get all the barrels. I know that already. That was a pretty shitty run. <laughs> uh, and we damaged the car. But that's okay. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get a few more. There we go. That was not great. Uh, that was just two stars, but that's okay. That's okay. I want to do one more mission. Just, I don't know which category, just uh, the one that... Oh, quick travel points, drag strip. Interesting. Service station, okay, that's where I can tune my car. So, introduction to freeform crawling. I want to do the crawling. I want to do some off-roading to uh, leave things for today. Really enjoying this so far, gotta say that again. I will have a lot of fun with the career mode in this patch and in the upcoming patches. I kind of thought it would be multiplayer, but I guess that's not quite... Whoa! That felt weird, but I guess that's not quite there just yet. I would think that generally speaking, uh, multiplayer would make sense for the career mode. But I guess you can play it in single player as well. Obviously it would be infinitely more fun to show off the cars that you've built to your friends and drive with them across the map. I also wonder if they will open up uh, the play area. I mean, the map is usually a lot bigger uh, than what we have here. Three missions here, all right? So, uh, freeform crawling, that looks cool. This course will introduce you to thinking about your route during an open range of obstacles. Plan to take the route of least resistance in order to maintain the smoothest ride. Gotcha. And we'll do so. Uh, introducing people from crawling. Crawling is about points, not time. You will start with 100 points and lose points for the following infractions. Touching a prop, using reverse, using a recovery checkpoint, rollover or damaging the vehicle, leaving the area... Uh, obviously, reaching a yellow recovery checkpoint will create a new recovery position and five points will be added to your score. Use I or the escape menu to recover to your position, uh, to your latest recovery position. You can restart the mission by resetting again after the recovery or using the escape menu. Gotcha. So, time doesn't matter at all. That's good to know. So, we will go into low. We do not have diff locks. Um... All right, let's, uh, I guess let's start. Maybe going to first even. Just want that limitless torque, very little speed. Don't want to damage the car at all. We're playing it safe with this one. 
There you go. That's what I didn't want. But no damage yet, I think. Ouch. The bumper has to do its job, though. Okay. Oh my god. Alright. So, okay. I want to take this one at an angle. A little bit. Just like that. Careful, 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 careful. Keep doing this. So far, no damage, I think, to the car. Uh, this could be a bit tricky because there will be a bit of lean, but that's still okay. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Keep going, keep going. Easy, easy. Okay, that was very slow. But I think we did it. Wait, finish the crawl under 14... Under 14 seconds? How the fu... Alright, you know what? Let's do a speed run. Let's try this. Let's do a speed run. So that means high range. And just floor the shit out of the car. I mean, it kind of works, to be honest. Okay, that's going surprisingly well. I did damage the car, though. <laughs> I still... I did it in 25. What do you have to do for 14 seconds? Okay, one more time. I want to try one more time. 14 seconds... What the fuck? I'm just flooring it. I don't give a shit about anything. Just flooring it. I still didn't fit. No, 13 seconds. 13 seconds. Why didn't I? Oh, I did get the star. Alright guys, I think this is it for the first episode of the Beam and G career mode. I'm so happy uh, that I got to try this today. Uh, there will be more Beam in the near future, obviously. Um, more to try, more to play with. Uh, really happy so far. I think what it would really need in the next step is buying vehicles. I think that is the key here. Uh, if Kai can use all the vehicles in the game then I don't really have ownership of the car and I think that is what's missing I want to have like 5,000 in cash to start off with buy a crappy uh, covet and earn money to tune it and modify it that's the experience what I want we basically have the framework in the game to allow that so we have the map we can do missions with, and we can earn money but I want to be able to buy a car and modify it. That's the key here. But yeah, really happy so far. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this first look. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.